Haleluya, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na washukuru sana watazamaji ambao wanaoendelea kufuata mtandao wetu wa, wa YouTube, Julista Media. Karibuni sana Mungu wapende. Aendelee kuonekania, aendelee kuanjaa na Mungu aendelee kuwazidishia neema yake. Asante kwa sababu umesubscribe na Mungu akubariki na kuzidishia neema kwa sababu umependa kusikiza hizi habari na jumbe za Mungu. Na siku ya leo uh, kwa wale wanijui wale ambao ni wageni, karibuni sana 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 katika huu mtandao wetu wa Jurista Media. Subscribe, like and share na pia uh, jina langu ni Julius Mwangi. Tunapoendelea siku ya leo nimekaa kabla sijaongea sana lakini nitaka niwaongeleshe mambo kadhaa ambayo Mungu amenizungumzia na nataka aweze kuweze kushia na nyinyi ili tuweze kuombea nchi yetu ya Kenya Jambo la kwanza kama vile ninasemanga ya kwamba na nimesema mara mingi nimerudia mara kwa mara ya kwamba I'm called for this season of revival Kenya niliwaambia kwamba ndio itakuwa anzilishi kuu ya revival ambayo itakayoenda dunia kote. Na hii revival ndio ambayo mimi ninawasilisha kwenu na kuwazungumzia na kuongeresha na kuwanenea na kuwaeleza mambo ambayo yatakayofanyika na kuandaa katika harakati katika maisha yenu ya kiroho ili tuweze kupata na kuingiana katika hii revival. So let us know that revival is coming. So a great revival is coming unto us and it will start in the land of Kenya. And uh, sasa mambo mambo yako hapa. Shida iko hapa. Wakati unafofanya kitu shetani hujua. Na shetani anajua ya kwamba revival kubwa itaanza nchi ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo amejaribu juu chini kuharibu uh, uhusiano wa wakenya. Na kile kitu cha kwanza ameharibu ni upendo wa mtu na mwingine. Na diposa unakuta ya kwamba tunafikaa na unafiki kuanzia viongozi wetu tunakosa kuelewana na tunakosa kukaa katika mambo ambayo yanafaa. Kwa hivyo viongozi wetu wamekosa kuleta uelewano ambao tunawatumainia ya kwamba watuletee uelewano. Katika the government we see the president ambapo anaanza vizuri na kuleta umoja lakini baadaye umoja ukakuja ukaanza kuharibika. Huu umoja umeharibu uh, uh, uhusiano pia wa kanisa na unakuta ya kwamba wachungaji vita ni kali na hata wa members uh, wa kanisa bado vita ni kali hata waijuristi waimbaji na kila mahali unakuta kuna kutoelewana kwa, kwa watu na wengine na haswa vikundi vilivyo ambavyo wako navyo shetani anaharibu uhusiano na upendo wa mtu na mwingine kwa hivyo jukumu letu tukaweza kuomba na kushikana kwa sababu ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Wakati huu unaweza kuangalia uone ya kwamba huu si ule wakati watu walikuwa naogopa dhambi. Aa, watu wanafanya dhambi hadharani bila kuogopa mtu yeyote. Bila ku Oh God, Mungu aturehemu. Revival is coming. And now before this revival come We have to undergo the problems or challenges and tests. Mungu ni lazima atujaribu na angalie kanisa kama liko tayari kwa sababu ya revival. Na ukiangazia sana katika kanisa sana haswa za kiroho, wachungaji wengi wanawahubiria wanawaambia kwamba revival is coming. Na kama hawajawaambia bado watakuja kuwaambia wakati Mungu atawazungumzia kwa sababu tunaleta kile ambacho Mungu amezungumza. So revival is coming to you. And the greatest revival can only start with me, my household and to the church, to the friends and relatives and everywhere. So the revival start with me. 
May the revival of the Lord start with you. Now, unakumbuka wakati ulikuwa unaomba vizuri kwa sana? Unakumbuka wakati ulikuwa unaenda kanisani mapema? Wakumbuka je vile ambavyo ulikuwa unasoma Biblia sana, basi za Biblia ulikuwa unazijua? Sasa kulifanyika nini ukazisahau? Mwingine ananiambia kwamba natokeanga job late na ninaenda mapema. Hicho sio kizuizi kwa sababu ile kazi ni ya Mungu na hata kama unaenda mapema unatokea late are you giving tithe unapeana matoleo yako sijui lakini sasa tuko hapa revival start with you let you start revival anza kumrejeshea Mungu rudi kwa Mungu anza kufanya kazi ya Mungu rudi katika nyayo za Mungu na taweza kukubariki na kukuonekania challenges and tests and problems the three things we must undergo for this revival and let me tell you something that is one of the things that are draining the revival it is political instability when a land or a country has a political instability then the revival haiwezi kufanyika vizuri kwa sababu hii revival it also needs a political held and a political support now angalia kwamba wa viongozi wengi sasa wengine sasa si wote wameanza kupinga kanisa angalia kuna vikundi vya atheist ambazo already zimeregistiwa katika sheria kuu kama kanisa kwa ofisi za attorney general yeah Angazia sasa the antichrist inafanyika ubaya umefanyika ugomvi umefanyika eh hey, praise the name of the lord immorality imejaa hata kwenye kanisa kwa sababu revival is near kwa hivyo haya mambo ambayo yanayotendeka yanatendeka kwa sababu yanafaa kutendeka na huu ni wakati ule ambao Mungu anataka atimize mambo ya revival. Lakini kabla ya haya mambo yatimie ni lazima tupitie mambo kama haya. Wachungaji wenzangu. Ukiangazia kama wakati wa politiko, tumeona ya kwamba politicians wanajua kujipanga sana na vizuri zaidi. Lakini sisi ambao ni wachungaji ama wa kanisa tumeshindwa kuchipanga na kushikana ila tu kupigana vijuju ni jukumu letu kanisa tushikane sasa na tuongee kwa msimamo moja na kwa sauti moja Our politicians wamekuja wameingia mpaka madhabau wameharibu madhabau wengine wanatoa nguvu nje ya madhabahu ya Kristo wamepanda madhabahu mengine nje lakini utawaona wameingia katika madhabahu these is so bad heli waingie lakini wasiongee yoyote kuhusiana na ugomvi wasiongee chochote kuhusiana na kupinga Kristo nama kupingana mtu na mwingine lakini ni vizuri tushikane na tusapotiane katika kuinua injiri ya Kristo. So I'm supposed to tell you this uh, that it is our higher time to pray and pray for Kenya. Angalia sasa kwamba uh, we have forgotten that is God who gives. But we think that the politicians are the one who can give. In each and every moment a Christian should realize that whatever the case it's God mwanzo kati mwisho ni Mungu therefore revival is coming arabashaka revival it is the time for revival Kenya countries uh, Kenya churches red pray and stand with this revival wacha tusihubiri kwa sababu ya kile tunapata lakini tuhubiri kwa sababu Mungu ametuweka pale tuwe the vessels of the people and the voice of the Christians a uh, voice of the country voice of the world and therefore the revival is coming 
God bless you so much. God do you good. May God raise your standard. Whenever we shall have a church that can be able to speak in a, in a, in a government, this is the time we shall know that something new has been done. Of viongozi wetu, revival is coming. And when it's coming, it will shake you. God bless you. God do you good. And continue sharing, subscribe, watch, and listen to Jurista Media. God bless you.